Huck Struggles with Proper Behavior, Chapter 3. One bright morning, Huck finds himself in trouble over his muddy clothes. While Miss Watson scolds him sharply, the widow Douglas, on the other hand, cleans him up without a word, showing only pity. This kindness makes Huck want to try to behave better. Miss Watson, believing strongly in the power of prayer, takes Huck aside to teach him about its powers. She assures him that anything he asks for will be granted. Huck, skeptical yet hopeful, tests this by praying for fishing hooks to accompany a fishing line he's found. Despite his sincere efforts, the hooks never appear. Disappointed, he confronts Miss Watson, who dismisses him as foolish without further explanation. This experience leads Huck to ponder deeply about the nature of prayer and its effectiveness. He wonders why, if prayer works, it doesn't help others more materially. For instance, he questions why a local deacon hasn't recovered his losses on a bad pork investment, or why the widow Douglas hasn't found her stolen silver snuff box. He brings these doubts to the widow Douglas, who explains that prayer is intended for spiritual gifts, not material gains. She advises Huck to focus on helping others rather than seeking his own gains. Feeling confused but somewhat enlightened, Huck tries to accept her viewpoint. However, he finds it hard to see any benefit in this approach, as it seems to offer no advantage to him personally. Meanwhile, Huck worries about his father, Pat, who has been absent for over a year. His father was abusive and Huck feels safer with him gone. The town buzzes with rumors when a body is found in the river, many believe it's Pat. Huck is initially relieved until he realizes the body floated on its back, unlike a drowned person. He suspects the body might be someone else disguised in his father's clothes, which leaves him uneasy about his father's possible return. To distract himself, Huck joins Tom Sawyer and other village boys in play-acting as robbers. They pretend to attack innocent travelers, but only manage to scare them. Huck grows tired of these games, seeing no real purpose or profit in their make-believe adventures. Tom Sawyer, ever the dreamer, concocts a wild plan involving a hidden treasure guarded by imaginary Spaniards and Arabs with exotic animals like elephants and camels. Huck is drawn to the adventure, hoping to see the animals, but the supposed treasure hunt turns out to be just another of Tom's fantasies, this time mistaking a Sunday school picnic for their grand adventure. Disillusioned by the repeated disappointments and the lack of real adventure, Huck contemplates the value of his escapades with Tom and begins to see through the romantic veneer of their adventures. He starts to question not only the validity of Tom's fantastical tales, but also the practicality of living a life based on fiction and make-believe. 